Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my 2K21 tutorial, number 21. So today is going to be part 2 of our best playbook tutorial. We will be using the uh, Lakers playbook, the current Lakers playbook, not the classic one. We're going to focus on the most OP fake ball screen plays in the entire game. And I guarantee you, these plays in the Lakers playbook will boost your offensive efficiency significantly and it's going to be incredibly fun to run. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please share and like and make sure to subscribe for more 2K21 tutorials all season. Also, check out my all 2K21 tutorials playlist in the description below to stay up to date and to see more money plays and best playbooks in the future. So, make sure you do watch tutorial number 18 for the Lakers playbook money plays that were discussed uh, previously. Obviously on my team you would want to buy the playbook but anything outside of my team you can just go to coaching sliders and equip the playbook yourself. Uh, the plays we're focusing on is the pick and roll ball handler play so make sure your players got that equipped pick and roll ball handler. And the offensive setting make sure the play selection is set to such and the two plays you want today is fist 2-1 Nash and fist 4-1 spread get. And to back it up uh, the free line should be run as Bucks 2018 okay. So always call plays with your offensive settings once you have set them up in the play selection so make sure you do that every time it's going to save you a good three seconds to call a play here is the play uh fist 2-1 dash one of the best fake ball screen plays in the game so you can see it starts off with a passes to the wing there but i'm doing a give and go pass here so this is a katana pass and then i'm going to fake that ball screen and then i'm going to run around the screens instead of setting the double screen and then I'm going to host X, hold turbo, tap square, let go to lock. If you want to learn the give and go, you can watch tutorial number 14 to do that pass. For this play, you can also use a three point shooter to trigger the play. As you can see, I'm doing with a Catavius Cowell Pope here. So I'm calling the play off offensive settings, play selection with the ball in Pope's hand. I'm going to pass the ball by holding down the X, run at the ball handler so that my defender is going to be below the second screen and I'm going to run around the JaVale McGill screen to the hash opposite side catch and I'm just going to shoot obviously with the stick so you can watch tutorial number 15 for catch and shoot from freeze with the aim meter that is incredibly easy to green as you can see me do here. Swish ball. So this play also has another super deadly variation. So instead of starting out with the give and go pass here, you just hold on to the ball, wait it out, and the guard is gonna come up and send you a screen. Since this is a you know guard to guard small screen, the defense is gonna switch it with their defensive settings. User all computer. And that if they switch, that gives you the baseline drive because of the angle. If they help, you kick it around, free ball from the corner, aim meter once again. So you can see here again, I'm doing it with uh, rockets. I'm just going to wait it out. But this time, I'm not going to run around the screen. I'm actually going to pass the ball off, but it's not a give and go pass. I'm still controlling Westbrook here. I'm going to run all the way around base on and lob it. So if they switch this, it's going to hurt them. So that's why that screen is so good because everybody switches that screen because it's a small to small screen. So here I'm running the uh, regular version and just going to pitch it off and then run around the screens to try to find a free off that flare from AD. There is no free. I'll be patient, just go back to my 2018 Bucks Freelance pick and roll right down the middle. Just as good and the flow is excellent. So there's no reason not to use this to flow into a middle pick and roll. You also don't have to start off in the play spot to actually get this trigger. You see me, I'm starting off in the middle there, but I call it a play anyways. And then I'm going to do this fake double screen, but I'm still controlling LeBron. So I'm going to run all the way around back to the side. Don't even have to lob it. That's another easy finish. All right. So next one up, we're going to do fist forward spread yet, which is a duo guard fake pick and roll action. So initially the play looks like this. You can, I call it for LeBron here with offensive settings with him in the, the ball in his hands. And you can see uh, Bradley's going to back that out. I'm going to give it to him, but this is another give and go pass. I'm going to sell it like it's a guard to guard or guard to, you know, small forward screen. I'm just going to run through, split the defense, catch the ball, get to an open space, and I'm just going to catch and shoot it. And that's a very easy shot to green because it's going to be open a lot of the time because you're faking the pick and roll into the split. So essentially, you're going to do let the player cut out, do a give and go pass, run like you're setting a screen. This is very important. Slow down. This really fools other users. And you can just split it. And then if the lane is open, you must well go straight down and just lob it. So you can run to the corner if the person is playing the... If there's a defender playing the paint, or you can run to the paint, there's no one there. But the key is... No matter where you're really doing this, against computer or online, this looks like a screen. So you have to sell it like it's a screen. And then spin it. 
And then here, if you just straight up lob it by holding, you know, X and square and tab square as fast, or you can just ditch it off, ditch it off and if they bring help, you see how the free shooters are spreading out because of Bucks 2018 Freelance, you can get a lot of shots. And once again, tutorial number 15, if you want to use A meter, the green freeze, like what I'm doing here. So just even on the kick out, this is incredibly dangerous and it flows very nicely. So you can see here, in another instance, I'm running the uh, fist forward spread yet. I'm going to turn this into a give and go pass, run all the way around, and then kick it out once again. And that corner shot, you have so much time if they bring help. Nice and smooth. So here, same thing, running it with Harden. Good patience. Get the ball to Westbrook. Set it with like a screen. If I can, I'm just going to run behind Westbrook. So there's two routes too. Right? So I don't always have to split the screen. If they don't let me split the screen, then I'll run around. Either way, the opening is definitely going to be there. If they bring help, I'm just going to kick it out. Also, uh, you can do the moves I taught you guys in tutorial number 19 and 17 for the ISO catch and go attacks. Like if they play the lane and you can't get off the shot, it's still an excellent catch and go ISO opportunity, which with the skills I taught you from tutorial number 19 and 17, you will also kill it. So everybody's going to back that out. The Braun doesn't really have to split there. I ran a good close out. So now I'm just going to hit them with the ISO triple threat move. Still just as good. So. Overall, so far, we have six money plays from the Laker playbook, so make sure you get it. This playbook is nasty. And I'm just going to show you guys the previous money plays we talked about. So here is a Fist 2-1 Chase. So these will be from tutorial number 18. If you want to see these in detail, you can just go to my playlist and watch 18. But here I'm just showing you the different money plays that are also in this Laker playbook to make it worth your while. And here is Fist 2-5 Give Down. Because if we set up as many money Play some, you know, the Lakers playbook as possible on offensive settings. We can actually set up eight. You can't do nine because you have to keep passing screen away because that's the best, you know, isolation creator in the entire game, passing screen away. So here's another one, Fist Delay 2. So essentially, uh, for this best, for any best playbook tutorial that I'm going to do, the real focus really is to try to get up to about six to eight plays. Because once I get to six to eight plays, you can pretty much set up everything in offensive settings or add in other actions you like, but always keep passing screen away. Ooh, this 2 5 give, nasty. And you'll be ready to go, ready to run your playbook as efficiently as possible. And also, more variations. Because if you call it off offensive settings, play selection, even if the player doesn't have to play, you can kind of run a variation of it, which is very useful for my team because you can change player plays on my team. So, and this is 2-1 dash, 4-1 spread, get from today. So that makes it 6 overall from the Lakers playbook. And I think because of that, I'm likely going to move on to another playbook. So you guys can, you know, not have pay for an expensive one all the time and all of that good stuff on my team. And also 6-8 to eight is what I'm aiming for because of, you know, the offensive settings limitation. And make sure your coach settings are like that so you can see all the play lines. As always, thanks for coming by. And I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.